very good morning. Assam Chief Minister says development work cannot stop due to COVID. Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonwal has directed the district administrations to continue with developmental work. He said that economic activities would have to continue parallelly with the fight against COVID and other natural calamities like flood and erosion. The Chief Minister held a video conference with the Deputy Commissioners, Superintendent of Police and Joint Directors of Health Services of all districts to take stock of COVID scenario, flood and erosion and status of developmental work. Sonwal said that there should be no discrimination against people living in COVID hotspots and asked the district administrations to consult respective public representatives of the districts before taking any measure to contain COVID. Japanese encephalitis and acute encephalitis syndrome claims 23 lives in Assam since January. Japanese encephalitis and acute encephalitis syndrome have claimed as many as 23 lives in Assam since January this year. Japanese encephalitis claimed five lives, while acute encephalitis syndrome claimed 18 lives. At least 174 people are suffering from Japanese encephalitis and acute encephalitis syndromes in 27 districts. The outbreak of the vector-borne diseases is severe during June, July and August in the state. Around 30% of the affected people lose their lives in Assam annually, health officials said. Tax defaulters given amnesty in Meghalaya. The Meghalaya cabinet has announced a 30% amnesty in tax defaulters prior to the GST regime. This is being seen as a fiscal measure to bail out the state exchequer, which has hit a new low since the outbreak of COVID-19. The amnesty will be in the form of an ordinance, Chief Minister Conrad Sangma said. There will be a penalty clause in case defaulters fail to comply with the six months moratorium. There are about 85 tax violators and the tax recoveries are estimated at around 180 crore rupees. Incessant rains disrupts normal life in Arunachal districts. Normal life was disrupted due to incessant heavy rain over the past couple of days that has lashed several districts of Arunachal Pradesh. Massive landslides have been reported from several parts of the capital city of Itanagar. Massive mudslips have damaged local houses in and around Itanagar. Roads have been damaged and several areas are facing flood-like situation, officials said. And here is an update on the number of positive cases across the northeastern states. These are numbers as of 9 a.m. on Friday morning. The number of positive cases in Assam stands at 14,600. The number of deaths in the state has gone up to 27. Tripura, the number of positive cases has gone up to 1,790. In Manipur, the number has gone up to 1,450. In Nagaland, the number has gone up to 673. Arunachal Pradesh, the number stands at 287. In Mizoram, it has gone up to 203 positive cases. Sikkim, the number has gone up to 134. And in Meghalaya, the number of positive cases stands at 104. And that's all we have in this edition. Thank you.